everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. I'm introducing a brand new color today by Raquel Welch. It's RL1622, which is Iced Sweet Cream. This color has a lot to say, and we're gonna tell its story coming up. The featured style today is Editor's Pick by Raquel Welch in that new Iced Sweet Cream color. I did purchase this with my own funds from Wig Studio One. I'll attach the links below to all of the Raquel Welch styles as well as this Editor's Pick. You can go out to explore all the styles and colors. If you have any question for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com or from any product page on the website, scroll down hit the help button for an automatic live chat. So Editor's Pick has been a favorite of mine through all of my years wearing wigs. I think it came out the year after I started to wear wigs and that would have been like 2016, I wanna say. So Editor's Pick has a lace front that does extend back into the ear tab, so it's fully extended. It's absolutely impeccable. And then there is a full hand-tied single monofilament top and then we're met with some open wefts on the sides and back. So the Ice Sweet Cream RL1622 uh, joins a family of colors that was introduced by Raquel Welch in 2019 called the Cool Tones Collection. And I really feel like this does really meet a niche uh, in the market for an unrooted light or platinum blonde shade. So let's tell the story of this color. Now, right out of the box, my initial impression, and I feel like the main theme of the story, is a cool platinum. That's kind of what meets your eye first. That's a first impression of this. Now, of course, there are some characters that have roles in this color, right? That's what I think. So let's break it down. That 22 is a very pale, palest of gold blonde. It's got a baby gold appearance to it. Very light, just a whisper of warmth throughout. Okay, and then comes in this very bold character called a 60. <laughs> so a 60 is, is white. Um, and I believe that it is white because of the tone down effect that you get with the cool tones by Raquel Welch in that collection. A lot of those colors seem to be a little more muted, a little powdery as if they were toned all over. And so that's why I think this gives you more of a flat white effect. You're gonna see that white highlighting surrounding the face very prevalently. It's dispersed and blended throughout. So as you know, this is not rooted. This is gonna make so many of you out there happy that love uh, an unrooted platinum or, platinum or an unrooted pale blonde. So that what meets your eye is that platinum. I think it's gonna satisfy all of you platinum blonde lovers out there. I also think that if you enjoy gray shades, this will be great because it is very much a cool tone and could easily transition to gray. In fact, a lot of times when you go gray, you start to get um, you know, the gray mixed in with your natural color. And if that happens to be blonde, you would probably probably end up with something like this. So I think it's beautiful, it's soft, it has dimension, and it's a creamy, creamy color, a creamy blend of colors. I really think that there's just enough warmth on this color to really flatter a lot of different skin tones. Um, so a darker or a more olive skin tone will just look glowing underneath some of the cool tones here. 
But on the other hand, if you have a more neutral or warm undertone to your skin, like I'm more neutral, So before I get started um, on my color close-ups, I want to explain something to you. On this color application of this iced sweet cream, you're going to see a pale, nearly silver cap. Now that is on purpose. Um, you certainly don't want a dark cap uh, underneath such a light tone. You could really very easily see through. So depending on your situation, um, I think you could probably see through to wefts and possibly even your bio hair underneath this uh, because of the just the translucent nature um, of the colors here and there's no rooting to disguise it. So no matter how hard they try to create a color of a cap underneath that matches the hair tone, I still think that you're going to see some areas uh, where you can see portions of the cap. So let's take a closer look. I think they did the lace front beautiful. It just, it's like a ghost lace front. You can see right through it. Um, if you have darker bio hair, natural hair underneath, like I do, you're going to be able to see that through the cap, especially the monofilament and lace features. So you can see my widow's peak kind of coming out here and quite possibly my darker hair underneath. Now, I'm not bothered by that at all because to me, you know, nobody has this color hair naturally, right? Very few. Um, so you're going to have regrowth. And so the fact that there's a bit of a shadow of rooting coming through does not, it's not a dead giveaway that it's a wig. On a hand tight cap, I think there would be absolutely no problem. However, when you're dealing with a wefted cap, you may see through to the wefts. And I noticed that a little bit on editor's pick because you've got that uh, monofilament top that stops right here at the crown and then the wefting behind that starts. And there's a lot of permatease right there at the crown as well. Um, so I think that uh, due to the big volume and curly nature, it kind of leaves little gaps in the hair where you can see through to possibly the wefts in the cap underneath. And I'm gonna set up some, some clips here, but you can take a brush. You can turn the wig upside down, kind of give it a shake, and get that brush up into those wefts. And I want you to gently stroke that permatease. Pull it gently away from the cap. Separate it. Get in there with your fingers and just rough it up a little bit. What that's gonna do is it's gonna take those permatease fibers, which are very springy and tightly bound to that cap, and it's gonna separate them. I think you'll get a lot better coverage all the way around if you if you do that. Is it going to completely cure the issue? Probably not. You're probably gonna to want to wear a solid uh, white or flesh-toned nylon wig cap or cotton wig cap underneath to help obscure the wefts if you have bio hair. If you don't have any natural hair, if you have total hair loss, I don't think this is going to be a big issue for you.